Bereshit, Genesis 41. And it came to pass, at the end of two full years, that Pharaoh dreamed. Behold, he stood by the river. And behold, there came up out of the river seven well-favored kine and fat-fleshed, and they fed in a meadow. And behold, seven other kine came up after them out of the river, ill-favored and lean-fleshed, and stood by the other kine upon the brink of the river. And the ill-favored and lean-fleshed kine did eat up at the seven well-favored and fat kine. So Pharaoh awoke. And he slept and dreamed the second time. And behold, seven ears of grain came up upon one stalk, rank and good. And behold, seven thin ears and blasted with the east wind wind sprung up after them. And the seven thin ears devoured at the seven rank and full ears. And Pharaoh awoke, and behold... It was a dream, and it came to pass in the morning that his ruach was troubled, and he sent and called at for all the magicians of Mitzrayim, and at all the wise men thereof. And Pharaoh told them, rather, Pharaoh told them at his dream, but there was none that could interpret them unto Pharaoh. Then spoke the chief butler unto at Pharaoh, saying, I do remember at my faults this day. Pharaoh was wroth with his servants and put me in ward in the captain of the guard's house, both me and at the chief baker. And we dreamed a dream in one night, I and he. We dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream. And there was there with us a young man in Ivrei, servant to the captain of the guard. And we told him, and he interpreted to us at our dreams. To each man according to his dream he did interpret. And it came to pass, as he interpreted to us, so it was. Me he restored unto my office, and him he hanged. Then... Pharaoh sent and called at Yosef, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he shaved himself and changed his raiment, and came in unto Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said uh, unto El Yosef, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard say of you that you can understand a dream to interpret it. And Yosef answered at Pharaoh, saying, It is not in me. Elohim shall give Pharaoh an answer at of peace. And Pharaoh said unto El Yosef, In my dream, behold, I stood upon the bank of the river. And behold, there came up out of the river seven kine, fat-fleshed and well-favored, and they fed in a meadow. Behold, seven other kine came up after them, poor and very ill-favored and lean-fleshed, such as I never saw in all the land of Mitzrayim for badness. And the lean and the ill-favored kine did eat up at the first seven fat kine. And when they had eaten them up, it could not be known that they had eaten them, but they were still ill-favored as at the beginning. So I awoke, and I saw in my dream, and behold, seven ears came up in one stalk, full and good. Behold, seven ears, withered, thin, and blasted with the east wind, sprung up after them. And the thin ears devoured at the seven good ears. And I told this unto the magicians, but there was none that could declare it to me. And Yosef said unto Pharaoh, The dream of Pharaoh at is one. Elohim has showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. 
The seven good kine are seven years, and the seven good ears are seven years. The dream is one. And the seven thin and ill-favored kine that come, came up after them are seven years, and the seven empty ears blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. This is the thing which I have spoken unto Pharaoh. What Elohim is about to do, he shows et unto Pharaoh. Behold, there came, rather come, seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. There shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Mitzrayim, and the famine shall consume at the land. And the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of that famine following, for it shall be very grievous. And for that the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the thing is established by Elohim. And Elohim will shortly bring it to pass. Now, therefore, let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise and set him over the land of Mitzrayim. Let Pharaoh do this. Let him appoint officers over at the land and take up the fifth part of the land of Mitzrayim in the seven plenteous years. And let them gather at all the food of those good years that come and lay up grain under the hand of Pharaoh, and let them guard food in the cities. And that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Mitzrayim, that the land perish not through the famine. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said unto his servants, can we find such a one as this is, a man in whom the Ruach Elohim is? And Pharaoh said unto El Yosef, For as much as Elohim has showed you at all this, there is none so discreet and wise as you are. You shall be over my house, and according to your word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said unto El Yosef, See, I have set you over all the land of Mitzrayim. And Pharaoh took off at his ring from his hand and put it upon Yosef's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him, Bow the knee! And he made him ruler over all the land of Mitzrayim. And Pharaoh said unto El Yosef, I am Pharaoh, and without you shall no man lift up at his hand or at his foot in all the land of Mitzrayim. And Pharaoh called Yosef's name Sofnath Panaik. Rather, Sofnath Pa-nyak. And he gave him to be his woman at Esnath, the daughter of Pari Fera, priest of An. And Yosef went out over all the land of Mitzrayim. And Yosef was thirty years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim. And Yosef went out from the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. And in the seven plenteous years, the earth brought forth by handfuls. And he gathered up at all the food of the seven years, which were in the land of Mitzrayim, and laid up the food in the cities, the food of the field, which was round about every city, laid he up in the same. And Yosef gathered grain as the sand of the sea very much, until he left numbering, for it was without number. And unto Yosef were born two sons before the years of famine came, 
which Asenath, the daughter of Patiphera, priest of On, bore unto him. And Yosef called at the name of the firstborn, Manasseh Sheh, for Elohim, said he, has made me forget at all my toil and at all my father's house. And at the name of the second called he, Ephraim, for Elohim has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. And the seven years of plenteousness that was in the land of Mitzrayim were ended, and the seven years of famine began to come, according as Yosef had said. And the famine was in all lands, but in all the land of Mitzrayim there was bread. And when all the land of Mitzrayim was famished, the people cried to Pharaoh for bread. And Pharaoh said unto all the Mitzrayim, Go unto El Yosef, what he says to you, do. And the famine was over all the face of the earth, and Yosef opened at all the storehouses and sold unto the Mitzrayim. And the famine waxed sore in the land of Mitzrayim. And all countries came into Mitzrayim to El Yosef for to buy grain, because that the famine was so sore in all lands.